everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this video is one of those videos that feels like a big deal because you guys are constantly asking me to do this and you have been for years and years and years ever since I uploaded my last skincare routine video which was 2017 so three years ago and it's taken me this long to do another one because to be honest my skincare routine hasn't changed that much and it's only kind of now that it has changed enough from that video um, to do another video but up until this point like I've been really consistent with my skincare routine so I didn't really feel like there was a need to make another video but I feel like now I do know a lot more about skincare my routine has changed slightly and um, I've tried so many more products and I'm just really excited because one of my biggest passions apart from fashion is skincare like way more than makeup I'm obviously very lucky with what I do here on YouTube that I have the opportunity to be sent tons of skincare products to try from brands so it's really given me the chance to explore lots of brands and products and figure out what my favorites are so today I'm going to share all of those products with you so it's gonna be a hefty video with a lot of products I'm actually going to take you through my morning and my evening skincare routine and um, but as I've got makeup on now I'm actually going to do my nighttime routine first but I'm going to edit it so you guys see the morning first so that it all makes sense. Please do subscribe if you're new here today and turn on the post notification bell and don't forget that I will link everything I show in today's video down below in the description box. So a few things that I want to talk about before product um, is first of all uh, I have always been really lucky with my skin even even as a teenager I've never really suffered with spots or acne or any kind of problems on my skin which is so lucky I know that is unusual. I actually used to get a lot of spots on my back. As a teenager I used to call it back knee um, but luckily I never really got them on my face just the odd couple of spots here and there and I still do get those. Also there are a few things about good skin that you should know uh, before you even get to the products and I talked about this in my last video but it still counts now. The first is that I drink quite a lot of water. Um, I used to drink no water. I used to be a cactus in the desert um, but then I had like a bladder infection and it was from dehydration and ever since then I drink two Two liters of water a day I always have my water bottle the second is sleep now if I've had a really terrible night's sleep I've had a late night and an early morning I look terrible like my skin is just kind of dull and when I have a good night's sleep like a good solid eight or hopefully nine hours then my skin is so much better and that's another like proven thing sleep um, has a really good positive effect on your skin and the most important thing of course is following a strict and consistent routine so I have been into skincare since I was about 12 because my mum's really into skincare so as soon as I was 12 um, she got me like a cleanser a toner and a moisturizer and told me to do it every morning and night and I honestly have ever since and consistency is really key even um, to the products you use so try not to use one moisturizer one morning and then a different one the next morning I've said it before but I do think um, investing in good skincare is important and I'm not saying that because something's cheap it's horrible because something's expensive it's great because I know it doesn't always work like that but I think typically you know the more you spend on something the um, higher potency of ingredients it's gonna have it will hopefully have less cheap harsh chemicals and I just generally think spending a little bit more on your skincare is a really good thing to do you only have one face so you may as well look after it and if that means drinking lemonade on a few nights out instead of alcohol or re-wearing outfits instead of buying something new then I think it's definitely worth it I also wanted to quickly talk about facials because I don't want people to think oh she has good skin because she probably gets a load of facials because I actually don't I would like to I'd like to get more facials than I do um, but you know life always gets in the way and time goes by I always forget I had my first ever extraction facial a few months ago and I wanted to quickly talk about the experience because I thought it was amazing so basically when I went to LA uh, around Christmas time last year 2019 as soon as I got off the plane um, I had like this cluster of congested pores just pop up on my skin you couldn't really see them they were just white but the skin was just all raised and it was really you know not very nice it felt horrible and naturally of course I'm there in the mirror like squeezing them and they would go away but then they would instantly come back in a different place but in the same area area and this went on for like two months I just couldn't get rid of it and then eventually after a couple of months I booked in to have an extraction facial at skin work in London and when she was doing it I kind of didn't think it was going to work very well because it didn't feel like she was doing very much and when I looked in the mirror afterwards my skin looked terrible it was so red and blotchy from where she'd been squeezing out and my skin looked terrible for a good few days and then after that it was completely clear and the congestion has never come back so I would say that I don't think facial 
facials are really necessary because I think nowadays you can get such great products that you can give yourself a nice facial at home. But if you are suffering with a bit of congestion or any kind of problems, it really, really helped me and I would definitely recommend it. So let's get on with my morning skincare routine. Hello again everyone, so I'm going to talk you through my morning skincare routine now. I always start off with cleansing, so I like to cleanse my face in the morning, I'm at the sink. I have a few cleansers that I love, my probably top cleanser for the morning and then I also use it in the evening too is the Pixi Glow Mud Cleanser. I have been using this for maybe four years now. It has a small amount of glycolic acid in so it's slightly exfoliating as well but it's like this really gorgeous like mud and you massage it into damp skin and it's just the most gorgeous texture and I just love Pixi full stop as a brand because I think the products are so fabulous they feel luxurious but they are pretty affordable i just think they're the best i literally just finished this as i just cleansed my face and this is the codely instant foaming cleanser which i really enjoyed using um i felt like that one left my skin feeling a little bit more tight um which sometimes i like sometimes i like that tight clean feeling and then obviously you moisturize the it cosmetics confidence in a cleanser again just a really lovely gentle one i feel like this would work for anyone these two especially just leave you feeling really clean but also nourished at the same time not too tight or dry the organic pharmacy rose facial cleansing gel i really like too and I love this brand too because all the ingredients they use are organic and lots of natural ingredients too and just to name a couple that I don't have on me right now um the glow recipe blueberry bounce cleanser is gorgeous it's the weirdest like jelly texture and you don't think it's gonna work but it does and it also takes off makeup so you can use that at night as well and also the Lizelle cleanse and polish which I talked about in my evening skincare routine because I use it more in the evening but you can use it in the morning too and then speaking of Lizelle sometimes like maybe once a week I'll exfoliate my face too just to like really buff away on the dead skin cells and leave it feeling really nice and refreshed so my favorite is the Lizelle gentle face exfoliator the next thing would be toner and I have to be honest I've never really really understood what toner is as far as I know it's to kind of rebalance your skin from the I suppose ingredients that were in your cleanser so my favorite toner of all time is the L'Occitane Immortel essential water. Once I've gotten through all of my toners that I already have, that will be the first one that I go and repurchase. It just felt like it gave my skin a new life when I put it on. It was honestly like more than a toner. As you guys probably know, I also really love the toners from Lush. They come in a little spray bottle and you spray them directly onto your face and they're all like natural ingredients. They have like a rose water one, which is really calming. They have a tea tree one for oily skin and they have um, one which is like salty and it's supposed to be like the sea air. I also love the pixie toners they're tonic so they have the glow tonic which is more exfoliating this is the vitamin c tonic and vitamin c is such an important ingredient for your skin it's one of the only two things that can legally um, in america be described as anti-aging and it's just the best thing for bright glowy skin but i'm not using that at the moment i'm going to stick to my rules which is stick to one product at one time so i'm using the bare minerals poreless exfoliating essence and i pop this on a little re usable cotton pad you can just get these from Amazon I have a little pouch and it's really opened my eyes into how much like waste I was creating with cotton pads like two sometimes three every single day going straight into the bin so I've cut down on so much unnecessary waste by switching to these and they work just as well and just to be a little bit extra I'm going to spray on some of the organic pharmacy herbal toner this has aloe vera green tea and chamomile and I just feel like it's really calming and like nourishing for the skin and you can spray this straight on <laughs> I just let that sink in and it just feels really hydrating I love it so next I use a serum and I like to use a vitamin C serum because like I said it's a really amazing ingredient for your skin to get it nice and glowy and my absolute favorite serum comes in the Elizabeth Arden vitamin C ceramide capsules these are my life they are actually the best product in the world they make your skin look so perfect so they come in these teeny little capsules which I love because when I'm traveling 
those were the days. Instead of packing like my full size bottle of serum, I can just um, take a number of capsules for the number of nights I'm gonna be away, like that. And the reason they come in these capsules is because vitamin C is so sensitive to the air um, and it can really uh, reduce like its potency and how strong and effective it is. So these capsules are airtight so that the vitamin C is in like its purest form and also they are biodegradable. So you don't need to worry about the waste or plastic or anything like that. So I just like to pat this onto my skin and don't forget your neck as well and your chest. It just makes you glow and also has ceramide in which helps uh, add to the natural ceramide in your skin which is like your skin's protection. So that's my serum and I just like to let this kind of dry off and like sink in a little bit before I apply my moisturiser. So I'll talk you through some of my favourite moisturisers because that's probably going to take a while. It's so hard because I've just tried so many wonderful moisturisers over the years. It really is hard to narrow it down. But some of my favourites are first of all the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This is just such a classic. It's so like pure. It's just the most like beautifully hydrating, like gentle cream. I just feel like anyone would get on with this. The Clinique Moisture Surge, of course, a classic. I will never be without this. I've always got one of these on the go. It's just the most beautiful like water-based gel moisturiser and it's like a drink for your skin, like there's nothing like it. The Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, again, just one of my all time favorites. I think I said this recently in a video, but I love this because it smells just like a cream that my nanny would make for us when we were little, if we had like any dry skin or like eczema or that kind of thing. And we used to call it Nanny's Magic Cream and it smells like the same and it's just divine, the most silky, luxurious texture and it just makes your skin feel incredible. And a couple that I don't have on me, first of all the IT Cosmetics Secret Source Moisturiser is unbelievable, it is just divine. Um, and also the Nooks, um, I can never pronounce the range, it's like the creme de, it's pale pink and it's beautiful. They do a silky cream and a gel cream. But the one that I'm currently using is the Darfan Paris, which is another brand that I just love. Their skincare is beautiful. And this is the Hydra Skin Light Gel Cream. And I have enjoyed using this so much. It's what it says on the tin. It's a gel cream and it's just so like cooling and hydrating. It's really hard to describe a moisturizer in any other words. But I've tried so many over the years and this is definitely one that has stood out to me. It just feels so beautiful on my skin. Now, another step that I only recently introduced into my skincare routine, um, and it's a product that I bought from an ad on YouTube before someone's video. And I've never done that before, but it was a really good advert because it was all about how we're spending so much time on our screens and actually um, blue light from screens can be really damaging and also aging to the skin. And apparently blueberry, which is an antioxidant, has protection. So this is by Bybee Beauty and it's the blueberry booster. You can either put this straight on or mix it into your moisturizer. And this is like a little yellow kind of serum and it's 100% natural, certified vegan and cruelty free. And it's basically like blueberry oil and you put this on as a little bit of protection from that blue light, which I really, really need because I spend all day looking at my laptop. And if I'm not looking at my laptop, I'm looking at my phone. Now, the next step in my skincare routine would always be SPF. It's so important to wear a high SPF on your face every single day because it protects your skin from the UV rays from the sun, which is probably the most aging thing for your skin and um, it creates discoloration as well. Even if you're young, even if you're a teenager, start using an SPF every day. Even if it's cloudy and it doesn't look sunny, if it's daytime and you can see, then the sun can see you. <laughs> but I'll tell you my two favorites. First of all, the Elizabeth Arden Great Eight. This is an SPF of 35. It has apparently eight great benefits to protect and perfect the look of skin. I use this every single day, even if I don't leave the house. And then sometimes, like maybe if I'm going out, I will use the Kiehl's Ultralight Daily UV Defense. This is SPF 50. It has very high protection. It's also anti-pollution. And this teeny, tiny bottle has lasted me forever. It's been amazing. Next is, of course, eye cream. I like to use an eye cream in the morning because I use concealer. And then I put powder on top of concealer. And the under eye area is 
is like the thinnest part of your skin, it's the most sensitive. So you really want to make sure it's nice and hydrated so that the concealer will sit nicely on top. It's not gonna crease or go dry. So the one that I'm using at the moment is the IP Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream. I've talked about this before, but this is brightening um, and anti-aging as well. Another one I love for the morning is the Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream because it honestly makes you look more awake. Like it's actually magic. And I also love the NUX Eye Cream in the same range that I told you before, the pink one. That's a really nice eye cream too. I always buff my lips in the morning with a little scrub. This is the Fresh um, Sugar Lip Polish Scrub. And I just take a little bit of this and rub it on my lips. It just kind of buffs away the dead skin and I feel like it also like stimulates the blood flow in your lips. It kind of gets them tingling a little bit and gets them looking nice and plump and juicy. And then I'll just wipe that off with my cotton powder. <laughs> and then the last step is just to add a little bit of lip balm. I always use the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. If you buy this it will last you practically a lifetime because you need the tiniest little amount but it's just the best thing for hydrating your lips especially if you're going to be using like lipstick and stuff. You want your lips to be nice and moisturized. <laughs> so that is my skincare routine for the morning. And before I show you my evening routine, I wanted to just very briefly talk you through like some of my favorite masks that I use, because I love to do face masks. It's just like my favorite way to pamper myself. I think my all time favorite mask is the Origins Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. I just feel like this makes my skin look perfect. Like every time I use it, it just softens, but it kind of refreshes it as well and it just like evens it out. I can't describe it, it just, it's really, really good. If I'm feeling a bit like dirty or oily or greasy, I'll use the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask. It's really hard to say whether it actually like draws stuff out of your pores but all I know is I definitely feel like cleaner and fresher after I've used this and once I've used something like that or a peel off that's left my skin feeling a little bit dry I love the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Skin Treatment. I've nearly finished it's so so nice it smells incredible and it's literally like this thick mud that you put on your face and it just hydrates your skin incredibly. And another one I love is the Kiehl's Avocado Nourishing Hydration Mask to soothe and soften skin. This is literally like putting avocado on your face. Like the texture is ridiculous. It's not avocado, but they've literally like made it like avocado. It's really messy and actually a little bit gross, but it makes your skin feel so soft and happy. <laughs> and then of course, I absolutely love my sheet masks. I don't really like spending a lot of money on these. I don't think you have to. I love the Sephora ones. I always stock up on these when I go to America. The pearl one, the coconut one, and the aloe vera. I've only got a couple to show you now because I've used them all, but I absolutely love the Garnier ones. They're like my English version of the Sephora ones. Like they're a you can go and just grab a handful from Boots and also Mask Bar are amazing. When I use these, I actually put the mask back in because there's so much serum like left in the sachet. You can use these like two or three times. So they are the products that I use to mask. Now let's move on to my evening skincare routine. <laughs> Okay, so now for my evening skincare routine, my biggest skincare tip of all time, the most important thing is to always take your makeup off at night. Never sleep in your makeup. I've told you guys this before, but I have literally never gone a day in my entire 25 years of life without taking my makeup off before bed. Even when I've been out for the night and I've come stumbling in at 4 a.m. and all my friends have gone straight to sleep, I'm there in the bathroom like doing my skincare routine and everyone's like, are you okay? So number one, always take your makeup off. And number two is um, something that I think is a really common mistake when it comes to evening skincare routines is I think people tend to take their makeup off like as the last thing they do before they go to bed. They do their skincare routine just before they go to bed. And actually you should take your makeup off as soon as you get in from work or whatever you've been doing that day. The minute that you don't need to be wearing makeup, take it off. So I take my makeup off one of two ways, depending on what kind of mood I'm in. Um, one of the ways is a micellar water, which I feel like is the more kind of classic, common way of taking off your makeup. I never ever use wipes. That's my tip number three, no wipes. Ban wipes from your life. They're not only terrible for the environment, but they're not very good for your skin either. I think out of everything, micellar water is the thing that you can go more affordable on. And my favorite affordable micellar water is the Garnier one, the original, the oil one. 
I think is my favourite and this one that I've just finished which is the new rose water one. It's just really good value, you get so much for your money and especially with the oil one it just leaves your skin feeling really nice and it just does a really good job so I always recommend this one to people. For a more luxury one and I have to say this is my favourite, the IT Cosmetics Miracle Water. It's a makeup removing cleansing water but it has so many other extra added benefits and then another way I like to remove my makeup is with a cleansing balm. You guys will have heard me talk about the Clinique Take the Day Off. This is a brand new one but it's literally like a colourless, scentless um, balm and you just kind of work it into your skin, you can use it on your eye makeup as well, it's so gentle um, and then you take it off with a hot cloth. And I also really really love the Organic Pharmacy Carrot Butter Cleanser. I don't have one at the moment but the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish is another one of my all time favourites. It's more of a cream than a balm but it's the exact same, you just work it into your skin, even into your eyes and remove it with a hot cloth and my favourite cloths are actually the Lizelle cloths, um, you get two when you buy the cleanse and polish like in the starter pack it's only about 15 pounds so so worth it and today i'm going to use the carrot butter one from the organic pharmacy i would normally do this um in the bathroom so i just take a nice big dollop of this and kind of melt it in between my fingers and then you just go straight onto the skin this smells so good i love it and you just massage it in everywhere i don't have any eye makeup on at the moment but if I did I would do it on my eyelashes too. So then you take your cloth, um, mine's gone a bit cold it kind of should be warm or hot um, and you literally like wipe away the makeup it just comes off instantly it's the best and you know with a wipe you would have to like really go in a few times whereas this it literally is like one swoop and it's all off. So once my makeup is off, I do another cleanse. You should always do a double cleanse, one for removing makeup and one to actually like clean the skin. So I'll usually use one of the cleansers that I would use in the morning, so the ones I will have already shown you. I'm going to be naughty and not do that right now because that would require a sink and I don't want to go downstairs. So I'm gonna go straight to toning. So I'll just use the same toner that I would use in the morning. Um, so I'm gonna use the Bare Minerals one because that's the one I'm using right now and just pour some onto my reusable cotton pad and just kind of go over the skin. So now my skin is all clean, it's time to put my serum on, which is what I do before moisturizer. So I would have shown you guys the Elizabeth Arden capsules that I use in the morning. Now I also use them at night. So because I am at the grand old age of 25, it is kind of time that I think you should start thinking about like anti-aging skincare. So the pink ones are retinol capsules and retinol is one of the only two things, the other being vitamin C, that are actually clinically proven to reverse signs of aging when it comes to wrinkles and like skin elasticity and that kind of thing. So at my age I should only really be using retinol like one or two times per week, definitely not every night because if you use too much when you don't need it it can actually go the other way and be detrimental. It's also like really exposing for your skin so if you do use a retinol at night you need to make sure that you definitely wear a really high SPF the next day. And I really like these Elizabeth Arden ones because it's a very like gentle and controlled retinol formula so it's not gonna like be too much for my skin. So I'd use a retinol product probably every three or four nights and in the meantime I'll use a different type of serum and there have been so many that I've really really liked but a few that have definitely stood out and um, first being the Elizabeth Arden ceramide capsules. Ceramides are something that we naturally have in our skin but we do lose as we age and they basically act as like a barrier for our skin to protect it and uh, keep the moisture in and that kind of thing. I'll just tell you about the L'Occitane Immortel Reset Serum because this is another one of my favourite products. It's so magical I'd really recommend looking up like the ingredients and everything that's gone in to this product because I'm not gonna like do it justice because I can't remember everything but it's so amazing but the idea is you put this on before you go to sleep and overnight it will work into your skin and work to like reset your skin to its best possible form. I also just want to give a shout out to the Darfan Paris capsules they're very similar to the Elizabeth Arden ones they do a retinol one like a vitamin C one and I really really love those two but today I'm going to use this one so you just twist open the capsule and squeeze it into your hand and then I'll rub it between my hands, but not too much because I don't want the product to like absorb into my palms. And then I'll just like kind of press it into my skin. Again, I don't want to rub it too much. So now my serum's on, it's time for my night cream. Now I have a good few night creams that I really need to shout out that I've discovered and fallen in love with over the years. The first one that I really fell in love with is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Nighttime Miracle Moisturizer. The texture is so like 
weird and almost greasy. It's probably not gonna be for everyone, but honestly, when you put it on in the morning, your skin just looks so like replenished and incredible. I've converted my mum, my mum is obsessed with it as well. And one that actually has a pretty similar formula is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Night Cream. It's very similar to the Elizabeth Arden one, except the Elizabeth Arden one is a lot cheaper. It's about 25 pounds, whereas this you're looking at like up to something like 70 pounds or something. It's just the richest formula you will ever feel. And I think it's Josie has said that she really doesn't like it because she puts it on and it just feels so like greasy. It doesn't really sink in straight away. You can feel it on your face, but that's kind of what I like about it. I love just piling it on and it just feels all like greasy and delicious. I also love the night cream from L'Occitane that's in the same range as the Reset. I think it's the Immortel Precious Cream and you can actually use that one as a day cream and a night cream um, and that's beautiful as well. And also another one that I absolutely loved was one from Nooks. I'll stick a little picture on, it's pink and I just loved the way my skin felt in the morning, so plump and dewy and refreshed. But the one I'm using at the moment is actually a fairly new product and it's the IT Cosmetics Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep Skin Transforming Pillow Cream. I just love IT Cosmetics, honestly, they're one of my favorite brands and I fell in love with this moisturizer the first time I used it. It's this really rich, like lilac cream because it's slightly lavender scented, which is really, really relaxing for nighttime. And I just love to put a huge dollop of this between my hands and just, Oh, rub this all into my skin and neck. And I'm just gonna take my rings off actually because it's gonna hurt my face. But this is also when I kind of do like a little evening facial massage. So I kind of like to do this most times that I do my skincare, like morning and night. Um, and it's not like very complicated, but you kind of want to do a little bit of drainage because it helps just like lift your face bring out your features and your facial structure. So I usually go in with like my knuckles on my jawline and it's just gonna kind of like bring out your bone structure a little bit more. Cheekbones and then like around my eyes. And it was actually a facialist that told me to do this. I had a facial literally like five years ago. It was my first ever facial actually and she, did all these techniques and she told me to do them like every time I did my skincare routine. So next is eye cream and I like to use something a little bit heavier and moisturizing at night and something a little lighter and like brightening in the morning. So some of my favorite ones are the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Eye Cream. The Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Treatment is the best. The L'Occitane Immortel Precious Eye Cream and of course the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue which is a really gorgeous texture. Um, it's kind of something that I would probably only use at night because because it is quite thick. But I love it for nighttime because it's just so luxurious. And then the last couple of things I'll do is first of all, put on my nightly lip balm. I use the same lip balm every single night and I honestly can't live without it. It's the Clinique Pep Start Pout Restoring Night Mask. I feel like they've changed the branding of this now and now it's part of the Moisture Surge range which makes more sense, but it's specifically to put on at nighttime so it can work into your lips overnight. And honestly, when I use this in the morning, my lips are so like juicy and plump. And if for whatever reason I don't use this, my lips in the morning are dry, a bit crinkled because I do have like naturally dry lips. And then the final step of my evening skincare routine is just if I have any like little spots or blemishes, which I do here and here, I have literally the answer to spots in my hand here right now. So this is the Kate Somerville Eradicate Blemish Treatment. It's the weirdest product. It's like pink chalky cream in water and it really looks like you should shake it but it specifically says do not shake the bottle and you have to apply it with a cotton bud directly onto the blemish and because it's so strong, it's so drying, it says that you should only use it once a day. I just apply that directly onto the blemish and it does sting for a minute, like a lot. Oh, it stings, it stings. It's probably not gonna do very much for those two because I think they were just like blackheads that I squeezed. Um, but this, it should really, really help because it just completely dries out like all of the oil um, in that area. So um, it's really good, it really works and it's not terribly expensive either. It's about 20 pounds, which I think, because it literally lasts you forever, it's just really, really worth it. So that is my evening skincare routine complete. So guys, that's the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. You found it helpful. If you have any questions, um, leave them down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.